Wow. Wow. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For anyone new here, my name is Alana. And in today's video, I am gonna be showing you how to create a 90s supermodel blowout using the Dyson Air app. a requested video so thank you so much for requesting this I'm just gonna jump straight to it so the first step to creating this look is to do it with freshly washed hair because that's when your hair is gonna be at its most voluminous it's also the best time to style your hair how you want to style the second step you want to do is apply some blow-dry cream this is the blow-dry cream I use it's from L'Oreal and it's like a volume blow-drying cream so I just run it all through my hair and it basically just helps achieve some volume because that is the key to creating this look we want lots and lots of volume the third step you want to do is apply some heat defense before you put any heat on your hair this is the Lee Stafford heat defense protection spray that I use I absolutely love it it smells amazing and it's just super good at protecting my hair also if you have thin quite flyaway hair and you find that it's not very good at holding styles you may want to apply a mousse before you start blow drying your hair because that's just gonna help it hold a little bit better personally my hair will hold this look really well so I do not add any mousse to it if you are using a mousse I recommend the L'Oreal styling mousse I use it sometimes for some other looks that I create and I just feel like it's really good the last step in prepping your hair for this look is to dry your hair so it's about 70 to 80 percent dry you just want to use the normal blow dry attachment and you want to make sure that you tip your head upside down and you focus on drying the roots you just want to leave the ends like my ends are still quite done and by tipping your hair upside down again that is just going to give so much more volume to your hair I've just done that to my hair and I already have lots of volume in it you do not want to dry your hair like straight down like this to your head because all it's going to do is just flatten the hair to your head I'm going to show you how I do the bottom of my hair but then I'm going to show you what I do to the top section which is the most important section whenever you're creating this look and you want to make sure that you don't make a parting because you want to blow dry your hair whenever we get to that section so that you can part it whatever way you want and have a lot of volume depending on what way you want to part it so let's get started hi I'm just gonna start by sectioning my hair guys you want to make sure that you brush your hair before using any attachments in the Dyson Air I feel like so many people miss out this step and forget how important it is just gonna help any attachment that you use run so much more smoothly for your hair I use this tangle teaser it is absolutely amazing it's one of the best hair brushes I've ever used and it's super super affordable it's actually the wet tangle teaser so it means that you can actually brush your hair while it's wet with it and it honestly just it glides through my hair like so smoothly I absolutely love it but for creating this look we are going to be using the round brush this is the only attachment you're going to be using to create this look and like I just said I'm going to show you how I style the bottom half of my hair I'm gonna speed it up and then I'm gonna show you how I style the top section of my hair because again that is the most important bit whenever creating this look because that's the bit you're gonna see that's the bit where you're gonna give lots of volume then I'm gonna show you what I do to my hair afterwards to kind of finish the look it just makes it look all shiny and lovely I actually feel like my hair is a little bit too dry right now so I'm actually just gonna dampen it a little bit this is just an empty bottle with some water in it I'm gonna start this look on high heat and high speed but I know that a lot of people sometimes find it a little bit too hot whenever it's in the high heat so if you do find it too hot just put it down to the middle heat and what you do is you just hold it for longer so if you have at the high heat I'm gonna hold it for about 10 seconds on high heat and then about 10 seconds on a cold shot but if you find it too hot on the high heat just hold it maybe for about like 15 to 20 seconds on the middle heat and then do 10 seconds on the cold shot so guys you're gonna start by smoothing the hair out a little to get rid of any frizz Wrap the hair around the brush and pull. Once you've done that a few times, roll the hair from the ends to the root and hold on high heat for about 10 seconds. Make sure you have lots of tension in the hair. This will help it set better. Then switch to a cold shot for about five to 10 seconds to set.
There we go. We have a lot of volume here at the root and we have a little bit of curl at the bottom. Worry too much if you feel like this is a bit too much of a curl, it's going to drop. So if you want to get lots and lots of volume for this look, you can add rollers in. Whenever you unwind this, you can just roll it in a roller. I personally just find that a little bit faffy and I just want it to be quite a quick, seamless process and just use the air app. So I personally don't do that, but I just think that a lot of people like lots of volume. So that's also an option. So guys, smooth the hair out a few times. Then start at the ends and roll the hair around the brush all the way up to the roots and hold for 10 seconds on high heat, followed by five to 10 seconds on the curl chop. there we go that is this side complete obviously you can see it's nice and bouncy and it has a really nice curl at the end which as we go through it will drop we're gonna move over to this side now the more frizzy your hair is the more you kind of want to smooth it out to begin with to get rid of some of that frizz before you get to the end and roll it up Once I have finished doing the bottom section and it's a little bit thinner and easier for me to manage, I then go over it and clump all the hair together and do one more on each side, so I'll show you. You're just gonna repeat as you did but on the opposite side, smooth out the hair, roll and then set and always ensure you're rolling the hair away from your face. There we go, that is both sides done. Guys, I'm just gonna quickly go through the rest of my hair. I'm gonna resume once I get to the top section to show you what I do there. You're gonna do the same as you work through the layers. You're gonna do each individual piece of hair. Then once you finish that section, you can grab both sides and then do one last twirl on each side. If you have really, really thick hair, you may have to split that up into more sections to do that. But by going over it one last time after you've done all the sections of hair together, it's just gonna help smooth that out more if you have got really frizzy hair. If you don't then you don't need to do that so I'll see you in a second okay guys I have finished doing all the bottom sections of my hair we're now going to move on to the most important section of the hair which is the top so let's do this and you want to split this into sections like this So, <laughs> I look absolutely ridiculous now, but rather than section your hair down the middle, you want to section your hair horizontal. So guys, the important step here is to pull the hair in an upwards direction. This is going to help create lots of volume. First smoothing it out a few times and then finishing off by rolling around the brush and setting with heat and a cold shot. Okay guys, this is what happens whenever you take a section of hair that's too thick, it gets caught. So don't do that. Don't do that! Oh shit! Okay. I was just being ill patient and just wanted to get through it. But try not to take a section that thick. But Look at that volume, hello. <laughs> that is so cute, I love it. Okay, right, let's do this front bit because I look like a little like dinosaur or something with a horn coming out of my head. Okay, it's gonna, I'm gonna cut this one over to the side. Yeah, and I'm not gonna lie guys, this section of hair is probably a bit too thick, but what odds?
I am just so into this volume. Loving it. Okay, guys. We are on the last section of hair. This is exciting. For your front section of hair, or if you have bangs, you just want to make sure you pull them together and repeat the same process. Smooth a few times, roll away from your face and set. My arm gets sore holding it sometimes with yours. YouTubers never talk about this. It rolls out absolutely fine if you take a small section of hair. Okay. Guys, like I just so in love with this. It's got so much volume. Oh wow. 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 Okay, so this is why you want to blow dry it back and not part it because at this point you can part it wherever you want. You can part this in the middle and it's nice and voluminous. You can part it over to this side. You can part it over to this side. So that's why you want to blow dry it back whenever you get to the top because it basically means that you can flick it around and do whatever you want. I am just all about this volume. Okay guys, so to finish this look off, we are going to add some L'Oreal Extraordinary Oil. I'm just gonna put one small pump in my hand. I am going to rub it together. I am just gonna run it through my hair. It's just gonna help add a little bit of shine. Team any little bits of frizz. Flyaways. This is definitely my new favorite go-to everyday look. So guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial and thank you so much for requesting it. I really enjoyed making it. If you want to see more hair tutorials, make sure you hit subscribe. If you found this useful, please make sure you give it a thumbs up and let me know how you got on. If you created this look, let me know in the comment section whether or not it was a success or if you have any further questions. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.